Hey there guys, uh, welcome. This is FX and now I'm going to show you how to make a small building in using 3ds max. I'm using 3ds max 2010 right now and we will be going to uh, build a short uh, you know small building including textures. So when you are in 3ds max uh, just go to the perspective view and press alt w and there you are in the perspective view. So what you are going to do is you will just grab a box and like that and what you are going to do is select the box go to a hierarchy panel or no sorry modify panel over here select the length you want and the width you want i'm just going to go just uh, i'm going to do customize uh, unit setups and go with the matrix one okay so i i want meters so that's it so i'll go length by four meters and width by seven meters and that's it and I want the height to be 0 0.5 meters or um, height to be nothing like 0 0.1 okay so here it is uh, it's a simple box uh, this will be our roof for the small house we are building so let's just uh, go to the box over here uh, select as an editable poly okay then uh, in the editable poly uh, just one second go here and select hidden line so you can see the lines hidden and then go to the edge select this edge oh sorry this edge and this edge pressing control and go over here and just one second just to go over here and hit connect so when you press press connect what I will do is it will split it in half okay so what you are going to do is uh, take a vertex here another vertex and press W which uh, will select the move tool and just drag it up here like that it just creates a row type house and just adjust how much ever you want okay so then uh, what I'm going to do is select a polygon over here and then you have to uh, select insert so just drag it like this much oh yeah yeah that's cool and then you have to hit extrude I want uh, the length to be of 7 meters high just like so or like that if you feel it's too much I'll go with uh, 4 to 5 4, 4 meters okay. that's fair enough 4 meters look cool okay what I'm going to do is delete this polygon too much polygons uh, will you know distract uh, distract 3ds packs it may even crash sometimes so what you are going to do is now uh, there is a part remaining here over here okay. so we will select vertex then we will go over here and hit cut and join these two vertices, vertices. Okay same on the other side you just join these two vertices okay 
so this is normal part of build uh, building it okay so now um, let's add uh, if you want a door let's add a door okay uh, I want it to be in a polygon and then I will add a texture because I don't have a texture with a fa face of a uh, front side of a house so sorry for that I'll select it show here click the inside edge sorry I have the cut tool selected and just run select that select this and this and then connect them which will split in here and I don't actually need this, I'm just sorry for that. And that. Um, this backspace. Okay. okay. So I'm not going to do that much complications because it may uh, confuse you. I'll just uh, start by adding textures to them. Okay. I'll teach you in the next tutorial how to add a polygon to the door uh, bitmap. Sorry so what you are going to do is just one second just uh, I'm so see in the desktop okay this is the textures folder I have too much textures uh, very helpful textures for a normal building uh, building our hut so what I'm going to do is supply some of these textures to the house in we are building in 3ds max so I'll just select a polygon over here this one and I'll hit M on the keyboard and it will open the material editor for me so what you're going to do in here is go to the maps over here and uh, select the diffuse color no diffuse color then you have to select uh, the bitmap and just uh, browse and select whichever textures you want so i'll go to these textures here i want this texture for the roof okay so i will just open it and as you can see there is a default uh, in the bitmap so just drag it and apply it over here then you assign the material to the selection and then you uh, show standard in the viewport standard uh, map in the viewport uh, then you can just see it's a little fudgy it doesn't look good uh, when you apply it on this so what you're going to do is in the modifier list go down and select UVW map okay and then select gizmo and then when you select box and you select, uh, uh, press r on the keyboard you can just you know drag it and make it look good okay so uh, let's just apply you know to this polygon away this polygon and so the same as this and then what we are going to do is uh, say same say the case more over here sorry so both the polygons simultaneously so this more and here it is it looks cool it looks good both the roof tiling just show you this one line and here it is so what we are going to do is apply and polygon just apply here so uh, the side polygons over here and apply a wooden texture to them so again do the same process go to the maps diffuse bitmap 
and select the dark brown okay this texture paper looks good open it assign it and just uh, do assign the material show stitch and then it's good good to go it's a good nice wooden texture I want my house to be you know brick brick should be of uh, bricks so I'll just uh, so like these polygons over here and assign um, a texture of bricks um, uh, I like these uh, bricks okay you may select whatever you want okay it's not uh, it's of it's up to you so just the same thing mm. it, it doesn't look good okay so what we are going to do is select all these polygons so we are this now So it does look a little shabby, but it's good to go, you know. So what I'm going to do is like pulling on over here, here. Sorry, all the polygons, and just a uh, last texture to this thing. Just go to the maps. Use bitmap to click it. I like to add, uh, you know, uh, the same, you know, this, the, these, for sure. These, um, open, apply, not sure to apply, to here and here, and apply this. There you go. So it's a shabby texture. All. So I'll just select every polygon I want to make it right. Sometimes you may make it individually. It may. Uh, what do you call it? It may make things worse sometimes. Sometimes it may make things easy for you. So there you go, a simple textured uh, house, just here. It doesn't look that cool because you know, it's a, just a startup. I may look cool if you know, just select a polygon over here, just walk in. So there you go, it's a uh, normal everything. It's a normal looking poly house. So thanks for watching, I will make the, these types of house in detail and I will uh, export it uh, to games like Train Simulator 2016 and 17 uh, coming upcoming on Steam. It's a normal textures house which you can make and export uh, if you want into your roots if you want to customize and make your own root uh, type of a DLC if you may call it that way. It's a normal thing uh, to work on 3ds Max. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. If you want the textures I will put the links in the description. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like for upcoming videos. Uh, for train simulator like many many more specified or details build, detail buildings 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू बाय